day 42 on the Appalachian Trail. Um, we're all kind of in different stages of picking up. My tent was there. I'm, I'm packed up. Joe's where they're brushing his teeth. Jake has got his pretty much done. And, and uh, Christian, who tends to be a little slower in the morning than the rest of us, um, is still in the tent. Uh, this is our Katahdin Be Free water system. It has a filter in the bag. So what you do is you fill that bag and then this has a compression hose clamp and you can just hang it and fill your bottle. It's pretty nice. But uh, we slept right next to the Laurel River. Um, beautiful place. You can see the setting we woke up to and went to sleep to. Had a great fire last night. We've got six miles into Boots Off this morning. Um, and once we get there, we're gonna get a resupply, laundry, showers, uh, change of clothes, all sorts of good stuff. So um, if there are any views on the way, I'll let you know, but we've got to get up uh, about 1,200 feet from here to uh, get there. So, all right. Okay, just coming out of camp <clears throat> about eight o'clock on day 42 and came to this awesome bridge, crossing the river one more time, then heading up about 1,200 feet. We had a beautiful camp spot back about quarter mile, half a mile. Uh, looking forward to today, and uh, I'll keep you posted if there are any views. Got okay, I walked just about another quarter mile and come up to another bridge. It's awesome. Uh, don't know how many of these there are, but they're beautiful, and this river is beautiful. So. I'll cross as many as they want to put out. And there were lots of nice camping spots all the way down through here. We stopped at a really good one last night though, so no disappointment on our part. All right, I'll keep you posted if there's some more views. Got to get rolling. So we're at Butov Hostel and everybody is just hanging out, waiting for the rain to stop. Some of these folks are going back out on trail and some are staying inside. There's an office inside here where a uh, laundry room, you drop your uh, dirty laundry off, $5, they do your laundry, you get it back to you. And then uh, later on I'll show you the shower, bathroom, and the bunkhouse, which is kind of cute. Very well organized place. Very happy to be here. Okay, just a quick outdoor tour of uh, Boots Off Hostel. Uh, believe it or not, those are my clothes hanging on the thing. And you can see there's a couple people in the window. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bunks in there. Over here behind the uh, shrubbery is the outhouse, bathrooms. Pretty nice to be honest with you. This building right here is the shower room. And um, very nice, it's got a bucket, lets the water come down. It's super, super um, balanced and it is hot. It just makes it even better. I'm gonna walk around before I go inside. Uh, not a lot of people inside, so I'll be able to do that. Um, in a normal situation, porch would be uh, busier with people. So, no, he's the deliverer of cantaloupe. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. How are you, Dad? Yeah. How are you, brother? Is that the boats? The aqua blaze? No. Oh, that's that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Okay, so this is uh, where you would come for check-in. I'm just coming back to drop these towels off. And here's where everybody, that's where everybody hangs out. 
and I see my clothes. So I'm gonna grab them. This is a store, I'll take you in. Quick look. Keely's okay to video in here. So when you come in, you uh, register. This is the Keely's. As far as I know, is managing <laughs> the place. And uh, you can uh, buy food, uh, drinks. Uh, there's somewhat of a resupply here. And then later on today, they're going to drop us into town so we can get some some uh, town food, I guess. So, Anyways, it, in my experience is, is one of the best hostels that uh, I've seen or stayed at. Very well organized and, uh, and everybody's uh, happy and comfortable here. So I highly recommend it. Tomorrow we're going to Aqua Blaze. Uh, we're starting here on the map. Kayaking up to this branch getting out here and then being taken to the trail. Uh, I think it's on Tennessee 21 is the route that we'll get dropped back on the trail. Just a little bit of a change for uh, the hike. Give us a little bit of uh, change of scenery, I guess. All right. Okay, just a little bit more video here at Boots Off Hostel. Uh, this is the garage as you walk up. It says, so get out there and hunt and fish and mess around with your friends, ramble out yonder and explore the forest, climb mountains, uh, bag peaks, enjoy yourself, keep the body active and alive. And I promise you this much, this one sweet victory over those deskbound men and women with their hearts in a safety deposit box. You will outlive the bastards. Uh, anyways, uh, Boots Off is very well organized. Um, inside, there's a, an actual office. There's a, a store. Um, they keep everything on computer. Or some of the hostels I've been to, you just get a little sh sheet of paper and they have you keep your own records. And, <clears throat> and there's a lot of other stuff that goes on that's just not nice. Um, these are three individual cabins. They come with a, a double bed and two bunk beds. And then... Down in the woods behind, you can see there's tenny, there's tent pad, there's like 20 pads down there. Um, you can see these young boys who went to the Bristol Mountain Motor Speedway today uh, are playing horseshoes. And then, uh, you know, they've got the deck over here with a fire outside. Um, and, you know, they supply the wood. Tomorrow, um, something I'm excited about is uh, JJ and I, just Joe, are going to Aqua Blaze. And what that is, is we're gonna be taking kayaks up the Watuga Lake. Um, approximately, I don't I don't know the mileage, oh but what we do is they pick us up wherever we get out of a boat launch and they drop us off on the trail at uh, the 21 mile mark. So it's gotta be close to that. And uh, it's just something different. Um, and it gives us a little break from, from hiking. Not. Not that I don't not like the hiking, I just want something something different. I want to have as many experiences as I can. So, all right.